Hi, in this video, we will see TrueSight Automation Console 2102 Vulnerability Mapping Demo. We'll cover following in this demo requisites for vulnerability auto map and manual map process, import vulnerability scan file received from Nessus, perform auto mapping for vulnerability, perform manual mapping for vulnerability, create and execute remediation job for map vulnerability. Prerequisites for auto mapping vulnerability in TSAC when user import a scan file following both condition needs to be fulfilled then the vulnerabilities get automatically mapped to its remediation content asset in the scan file are either automatically or manually mapped to endpoint in the endpoint manager which is TSSA patch catalog should be imported into TSAC before importing scan file. If user import a patch catalog after importing the scan file in TSAC, vulnerabilities are not automatically mapped and user needs to click on auto map vulnerability button again to perform auto map of vulnerability. For additional information, please refer to TSAC's risk topic from TSAC documentation. So we'll start with demo. I have logged into TSAC console and added all the required catalogs and sync status it is completed. Now we'll import a vulnerability scan file which I received from Nessus. In this demo I will be using the Nessus vulnerability scan file. So let's click on manage, import, click import, select the vendor, I will select Nessus, select the scan file select the operating system so by default it is selected all select the vulnerability severity so I will select all click import so the vulnerability scan file import process started it may take couple of seconds or a minute depend on the scan file size so the scan file is successfully imported if I will click risk vulnerabilities I can see all the vulnerabilities which came with the scan file which we imported let me filter with the status mapped in this we can see uh, vulnerabilities which are automatically got mapped when we imported the scan file so this is the vulnerability name and uh, CVID and the status and remediation content if I will click on the remediation content, it will show us the errata or bulletin details and the catalog location. We are seeing some vulnerabilities are partially mapped. The vulnerability showing partially mapped, that means the reported vulnerabilities having multiple CVIDs in it, but the remediation content is available only for few CVIDs. So in this user action is none, However, remediation operation can be created only for the mapped CVIDs with its appropriate remediation content. I have removed the mapped filter and now it's uh, now there is no filter applied and we can see the unmapped vulnerabilities as well. So this unmapped vulnerability means that there is a no remediation content found for this reported vulnerability and reported CVID. So user needs to map this vulnerability with its appropriate remediation content which is present in the TSS. It could be patch, it could be BL deploy job. We'll map this reported vulnerability and the CVID is this and status is unmapped. So we'll map this one with its remediation content. So click on action click map, click map remediation content, select the appropriate content type. So in this, I will select patch, then select the catalog from where you need to pick the bulletin or errata. So I will, since this is Red Hat, so I will pick up Red Hat catalog and the errata which belongs to this CVID. In the defined target scope, user can specify the target OS group. In this example, I will just select the all targets, click add, save. Now this reported vulnerability got mapped with its remediation content. So we'll perform the remediation operation for mapped and auto mapped vulnerability. I will pick up this vulnerability we just mapped. 
So let's copy the CV ID, click on operations, add operations, provide the name, select to vulnerability selection. I will just paste the CV ID which I copied. I can see this many targets are impacted. So I will just execute remediation operation for all the targets. Click on next. It is showing operation type and asset total 38 and the configuration. So I will select do not restart. Select the appropriate option. If you have uh, change automation configure, you can set a schedule. I will select, I will do later. The notification, if you would like to receive the job notification, user can enable it and provide the email address and the status with what status notification should be received. Let's click on save and we can see that operation is created. In the awaiting execution, I can see our job is created and it's waiting for the execution. So since I selected that I will do later, you need to click on action and you need to execute it. Then only it will get executed. If you would like to execute the job during the creation itself, then instead of I will do it later, select the execute now option like we seen. So here it is execute now which will execute the job.